stop saying. Just like you said, but I'm from the East. That's right. what I said in the beginning. Right. It's available for us to do real business in the music business is because I'm from the East and you from Lincoln and we official. So when it comes to business, a nigga got to say like, like Nifu, they did the whole gig, right? They put their differences to the side, but they homies still kill each other. They still bang. You get what I'm saying? So bro, the, bro. Difference is, is, the difference is, is in San Diego, in San Diego, you know what I'm saying? The promotion for music with the gang banging, you feel me? That's why he's tripping and all that shit bullshit because none of it hit the billboards. So then when we talk about that shit, then I say, okay, he don't respond to it because it's, it's nobody on the billboards. That's why there's no response. Not right? true. Not true. Not true. Not not, oh, hold on, young homie. Now listen. Um, you, hey, my nigga, you, you would, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah. would have you have you ever said anything about me on the record ever, my nigga? I have. I know. I didn't put it out though. But I heard it though. It was meant for you to so, call me. So now, so now, all these efforts that I've done, homie, to make these things happen, my nigga, niggas don't know what I go through with this shit, my nigga. But I be trying to be political and be all the nigga that y'all say I'm supposed to be. I be trying to be that nigga. That's the reason why you never heard no shit or never come back. But I hear this shit. So now not only do I got to hear this shit, but then I got to get criti criticized for not reaching out and fucking with niggas. Like, that ain't no way to reach out. Hold on. Hold on, Wood. Hold on. Hold on. I reached out to Big June for, for Won't Stop Being a Blood. Blood shot me down. Not only did I do that, I said, fuck it. I can't get him on the record. I even put Skyline in the video, my nigga. You seen that, right? Yeah, and that's when I hollered at you, too. I was trying to figure out what your angle was. Hold on. Come on. So so, so here I am thinking like I'm giving props, and then the nigga still questioning it. <laughs> I'm trying to no, show some love to niggas. That's what I'm trying huh? to say. You're from Lincoln. And so it seems so like everybody... It's about skyline. See, and that's some bullshit. That's no, it's that's y'all. No, it's bro, not. They, bro, listen. It's not being skyline. She said what? In Southeast, clack clack is a skyline killer. That is some bullshit, and there is no, no for real. there is no proof real. that goes along with that. There's no proof that goes real. along with that. That's how Wood. niggas feel. That's what I was trying to say. That but, but look, hold on, Wood. But why though? But Skyline. why, Wood? Give me one piece of proof that says this is why this means this. What? Why? Because niggas been getting killed. You're some of your best friends and some of our best friends and die behind this shit. That's the whole so thing. So when I say clack, clack, that means Skyline killer. Come on, Wood. That's ridiculous, homie. No, hey, now, see, hey, I don't, look, if right that, here, now look. Now you here, now you here to say it doesn't mean that, right? That's why we getting this shit together. We are trying to figure it out. How does Mitchie Slick but really But why feel? would that ever, but why would that ever, like what the, why would that because ever you said that you feel a certain Because you said you feel a certain kind of way just a few minutes ago about how niggas put out East Trippin' and it was all about Mitchie Slick. No, that don't mean I'm gonna feel a way so I'm gonna make a record back. That means I feel a way so now when it's time for me to go reach out to niggas, I might think like, maybe I don't need to reach out to them because them niggas is, don't like me. <laughs> well then, what about trying? What about talking to somebody who got some sense? So then, when I talk to them, and they tell me no, they ain't fucking with it, or when I reach out to that young homie, homie, I did Imperial, homie. I went to every hood off Imperial, homie. Everybody gave me the green light to come through. You know the only niggas that told me no, I can't come through. You know the answer. Do I gotta keep Why? going on, nigga? I can no, keep I'm on going saying, with so, this shit. Huh? Understood. That's what I'm trying to say. So the only hood that told me I could now here I am. Do, the the real shit I'm doing to show that is opposite of what you said. That shit don't matter. But then niggas get to make up all this shit that these words mean and this, cross town. Y'all not the only niggas that's across town from us, homie. I never. Hey, hey. Niggas hey. trying to tell me cross town means skyline, nigga. How the fuck do niggas get to make up all this shit and what this shit mean when it's not even no real shit to go behind it, my nigga? That's okay, niggas on so their own time. Okay, now, 
that is the reason why niggas can't do business. That's the whole point. Did you hear we had a whole conversation about Skyline and Lincoln? But I'm uh, not wrong, the- though. But I'm not wrong. You are wrong. Okay. You're thinking shit is wrong. I didn't think nothing wrong. Okay, so I didn't answer have- this. Answer this. When June was on that show, why would you tell Bar One you wouldn't perform if he was on the list? Because I didn't want to be at no show with no Skyline niggas, and then when everybody start fucking each other up, then I'm responsible for it. That's ooh, a good answer. Ooh, good answer, huh? That's a good answer. Good answer, I know. I didn't That's have to think. Answer. Hey, look, I what? didn't have to think 15 minutes. Why did you call minutes. June, though? Why did you call what? June and tell him that? Because I don't give a fuck. I don't got to call June for that. But see, that's weird because he would have got No, that's not him. weird. That's not weird. That's me just being who I am, my nigga. Okay, I didn't do nothing you. to him. All I'm saying is I don't want to be in no show. You called the DJ and told him you ain't going to perform, though. I'm going to tell him tomorrow. I'm going to say the same shit. Nigga, you try to put hey, me. I, hey, look, my bad, brother. I ain't trying to argue with you. Yeah, but you I'm know, just saying, no, Wood, just an argument. You got to feel I'm, me, though. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get to this money, brother. And when Check I say, when, now, let's get back to the subject at hand. Now, you you the, you the motherfucker in San Diego that did business, and you do business. So that's the other part that I got to give your respect. If you out here and you do business away from San Diego, then I'm saying like this. I manage Don Elway and Adonis, right? right? But I know behind closed doors, y'all got a deal. So I'm not going to put that deal out there on, on you the You can thing, put right? everything. All my shit can get put out there. You can put everything. All my shit. I don't got no skeletons. You can put it out there. No. No, not no, for the respect of them too, because I didn't get their permission. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at the end of the day, I'm saying, look, doing business, it's like if you got to deal with a nigga like that, that's hot, that's hot right now. He just did a song with Wally the Sensei. He just did a song with Dave Loaf. He just did a song with niggas that's pop, uh, Kaylin for real, for real. Right now, you know what I'm saying? They finna uh, put the video out coming up. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like when you do business with people like Lil Wayne, Nick Cannon, the game and all the motherfuckers you do business with, but you do business with people in San Diego, then that's what I'm saying. Tell Lil Wayne, do a track with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga popping right now. You feel me? Hey, homie. Hey. I did a song with Lil Wayne in 2008. And y'all not friends? I ain't talked to that nigga, seen that nigga since 2008. Damn. Why not? Who gives a fuck? What we talking about is our shit. Like, all these misconceptions. All these misconceptions. All these misconceptions, homie. Now, part two. You talking about Elway and and whatever, whatever. First off, homie, I'm a street nigga, homie. And I gotta gotta adhere to that first. I'm from Lincoln Park, homie. I mean, whether I... I'm not no gang member. I'm not no gang... I mean, I'm not no gang banger. That means I'm not gonna do nothing actively that has to do with gang banging. But I'm still from this part of town. I still gotta come home over here. So now we talking about street politics. You talking about, I should fuck with these. Yes, we don't have no deal. I have a distribution situation, and I open that line up to, to the little homie and to, to Adonis and to Elway for that. Now, hold on. Here, here where the street politics kick in. Now, my main right-hand little niggas and Elway and them got an issue going on. They put me in a catch-22 with some street bullshit that I still got an answer to at home. So now, whereas when I was hella supportive behind everything they doing, I got to come home with these. With, now they going at odds with my little niggas. It's street shit that come involved. It's always way deeper, homie. I can't just be like, uh, fuck what's going on over here. And these niggas is terribly upset about a situation they had over here. I told them niggas, handle that shit first. Then I can take care of business. Because first off, yeah. on, first off, first off, I don't give a fuck about this rap shit, my nigga. I really don't. Like you saying, unity. I don't really give a fuck about that. I, I put 20 years into unity. I'm saying what niggas need to do to get it popping, homie. I'm not saying I'm finna be the poster boy for that shit. This is for everybody else that ain't got their 10, 20 years in trying to do this shit to step up. I'm gonna give niggas the I'm gonna give niggas the print on how to do it. Now niggas, it ain't my nigga. I did all the okay. shit. Huh? So you said you giving up the print? That's the that's passing the torch. Man, nigga, I give it listen. Now you say give up the torch. Now you say give up the torch, nigga. I didn't. I got a song with every little nigga damn near in Dago, from Elway okay. to all your niggas. All uh, nigga, I even got song. Nigga, nigga, if you look talking about some set tripping, nigga, do you know on the cover of fucking Trigger at Your Station, nigga, Sugar Shaft is in that motherfucker with me, bro? Sugar Shaft is inside no, the I, cover I, of Trigger at Your Station. Hey, brother, brother, we that's twenty years ago. Now that we have new people in town, 
Let's put it. Let's put. Nigga, I did shit now though. Yeah, for self. For self, you just said you don't give a fuck no, about nigga. this rap shit, my nigga. But you were just on no jumper. No, no. Nigga. What I'm That's saying shit. is, after I tell about. you why. After all I done been doing this nigga. shit, my nigga. After all I done put in the efforts. After all I done tried to support every nigga, they done went around my back to try to do shit. And out of all the support that I don't get, all these niggas that want me to do something. These niggas won't even like the post, my nigga. If you go look at my shit, nigga, it ain't none of the Dago rappers liking my shit or sharing nothing. For the few that do, I love y'all, but it ain't none of the niggas talking shit, my nigga. It's like everybody feel obligated like they want somebody to do something for them. I'm not on, my nigga. I ain't never been on. I did a song with Lil Wayne. Nigga, I didn't get paid for that. I ain't never been on. Oh, man. I never got no deal. Nobody never gave me no Why deal. not? I never no million dollars. Why check. not, though? Why not? It's because, I mean, okay, now, that's a good question. Why not? I'm going to tell not? you why. This is why. Because San Diego niggas have this shit amongst each other. I guess it's because we fighting over this little ass piece of pie, my nigga. And everybody thinks that we all can't eat off this piece of pie. You're right. We can't eat off of one piece of pie, my nigga. But at least in another city, a nigga have to get a little bit cracking for a nigga start feeling the hatred and feeling this shit. In San Diego, niggas won't even let a nigga get out the blocks, my nigga, before a nigga start switching up, turning on them, acting funny. Nobody in San Diego is popping, nigga. Nobody's in San... Popping is nigga when you can take care of your family and take care of your mama off rap. So I ain't never been able to do that just off rap alone, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I don't... F niggas look at me like I can really make a difference. Nigga, I can't make no difference on my own. It's gonna take niggas to be behind me and support what I got going on. And it seemed like everything I do, a nigga find a reason to not support it. I said this. Hey, black, black means no, that. No, I, okay, I, look, I all I that, never... okay, so minus that, minus that, I hear what you're saying, but then you just said, you just said, I'm a street nigga too, so I gotta deal with the, I gotta deal with it. You know what I mean? And that's fucked up. That's the fucked up part about business. That's the fucked up part you know about it. That's, that's the, the part about part business, about because it. if the homies is mad at something, you got to fucking, you know what I mean? You got to, hey. Niggas don't understand how I'm going to catch the flack for all of this shit. But when I went on the motherfucking No Jumper the other day, I didn't go on to talk about rap. Them niggas was saying shit about Dago and gangster shit about Dago. I don't know if niggas really saw the first interview, but the first, did you see the interview that, got, that made me go on the show or no? I didn't see the interview that made listen, me Listen, listen, my nigga. The interview that they was on there saying shit about Dago that made Dago look vomity and shit. Niggas was mentioning gangster shit and then they was laughing. Niggas was saying they come to San Diego for SeaWorld and for and for Legoland and all that shit. And yeah, so therefore And so and so then that's why I went on the show. I didn't go on the show to talk about Dago rap. I went on the show to talk about Dago street nigga shit. And so some of the shit pushed over the rap, but I wasn't on there to communicate about rap shit. We say niggas' names and here and there and this and shit. They talked about little shit. They was talking about Little Weirdo on the show before I got there. They was talking about KT Foreign on a prior show. So niggas don't understand that that conversation was over rolling into a conversation that had previously always already happened. You know what I mean? So we was talking about, you know, the legacy of San Diego, the G shit about San Diego. Like, spec to San Diego, niggas try to get on Dago about gangster shit, nigga. Half the nigga, San Diego is older than half the gangs. San Diego gangs is older than half of the gangs in LA, my nigga. It's shit like this I was trying to make a note a note of so that niggas can understand why we feel a right way when we hear somebody on a talk show saying shit talking down on San Diego as if we're not an official city, as if we didn't bang with the most powerful niggas in California. We wasn't some offshoot city that came on later. Nigga, we was around in the 70s. And that was supposed to be the context of the conversation we was having on that show. Now, some of it spilled over in the rap shit, but it was more about us being real niggas. And so there, I figure that once we get that straight, then we can move on to the rap shit. Once niggas understand, other than niggas that been to the pen, understand that San Diego was just not about Legoland and the zoo and now, shit, yeah, then I'm we can dead, move so to the I next shit. I did my time in the pen, you, feel me? Nigga. you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? San Diego and this gangster shit, nigga. I got strikes and felonies and all this shit for nothing. You feel me? Now, later in the game, after doing all that time, I'm trying to catch up and get some money. You get what I'm saying? So the music Straight part, up. and then all that gangster shit, it leads to death in prison. So Straight if niggas up. ain't getting no money <clears> so they can pay for their own lawyer, you know what I'm saying, or bail out, then it's weird when you out here broke 
and then you carrying guns and doing all that, and you can't even pay for your own bill. So it's like, okay, well, niggas rap about that gangster shit, but then they don't apply the rules to the gangster shit, my nigga. Gangster shit come more than just shooting niggas. It come with getting some money too. It come, it come, it, it come with, it come with looking out for niggas' mamas when they washing the pen and all that type of shit too. All it shit ain't just about nigga. shooting a nigga for another nigga. It's about say. other so, shit too. You feel me? In the, in the middle of it, that's what I'm trying to say. In the middle of it, when it's time now, we have a. We have a lane in San Diego with all with, with 100 rap niggas that can rap better than a whole bunch of niggas across the nation in San Diego. You know what I'm saying? Then a motherfucker act like a nigga can't take over the game without permission from Slick. But see, the thing is, is why would a nigga think that when Slick ain't the nigga I ain't the nigga I ain't even on? Why niggas think? Niggas got to think bigger than San Diego. First of all, you're looking like... No, that something. checks out. That checks out. That checks out. And I feel everywhere you're coming from, what you're saying is absolutely... Nigga, right. Yo Gotti is on. Me. Yo Gotti is on. No, that's I can't buy. I can't buy a nigga a, a $50,000 okay, so thing and question. give him a million dollars Now, now this is my question. This is my question. This is my Go question. Ahead. You don't have no... no you don't have no relationships with no labels with all the accolades that you have. Okay, you got to let me talk right now, right? I know where you're going. So check this out, my nigga. I could go through decades of me bringing Dago artists to the forefront and trying to get them to shine. Ask Gazi, nigga, and Empire for years and years and years. But let me just, since you said 20-year-old shit, let me just come up to some new shit. Okay. San Diego artists, tap in on this one. So look, I got some, all this shit is about relationships, Right. I got some partners of mine, homie, that I've known for 20 years, homie, that have one of the biggest management companies or biggest uh, 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 really? consulting companies for art artists right now in Southern California. They're responsible hey, for, uh, they, look, they're responsible for yeah. 03 Greedos, uh, not all solely shit. responsible, but partly responsible, 03 Greedo. They're responsible for Shoreline Mafia, AZ Chite, uh, motherfucking, um, all types of niggas, homie. What they do, the name of the company is R. Baron. Shout out to my nigga TK and shout out to my nigga Picasso. Okay. Them niggas was going to do me a favor, my nigga, cause, because they love me and I love them. And we done tried many other businesses that didn't work in the past. But them niggas got on with one and got in Forbes magazine with the bubbling that they did in the last three, four years. They was like, slick, we on, let's go. I called them up. I said, bro, I want to put the town on. I got some young niggas. I didn't say me. Fuck me. Fuck my old ass. I said, I want to get the downtown popping. They was like, all right, Slick, well, we're going to do what we can do. I've been bringing niggas up to them for years, from Skywalker to Ocean to all my little niggas, Eddie Mac. I've been bringing these niggas everywhere I could go, my young niggas, to the forefront, to all these labels. So what we do is we set up a meeting to where I'm going to have our Baron and, and them come down to Dago. We recorded over there at at um, at um Royal and them studio, uh, 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 over there in um in in Mission Valley, I brought all the Dago niggas. Look, I brought Sethi Smack through, I brought Bad Damon through, I brought Skywalker, I brought I brought I invited Keek and Yabi, I invited um I invited um my uh, young who all uh, uh, niggas from everywhere, homie. Of course, it was certain niggas that I couldn't invite due to certain shit. You know, what I'm saying um I think did I did I reach out to um I reached out to um Hardini. Oh, Hardini, my, you know, that's the big homie son. So we, we got particular love for Hardini. I reach out to all these niggas. Wood. I tell these niggas to come to the studio. Nigga, they bring Ron Ron. They bring all the niggas that's platinum now, producers. Just come down here and have a workshop. It's at least 15 niggas, 20 niggas. Everybody didn't come. I put them all in the lab, homie. I put them in front of Art Bear, my nigga. I gave them an opportunity, homie, to 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 basically have firsthand action and get known. A few things materialized, but for some reason or not, homie, a lot of niggas went around my back, felt that they could go directly to the source, like Slick didn't know what he was talking about based upon, I guess niggas don't really want to listen to what I'm talking about because I ain't around here buying niggas chains and giving niggas a million dollars a sign and shit like that. But at the end of the day, my nigga, for some reason or another, this is the only city that the R. Baron came, came through and couldn't really get an understanding with the artists and make nothing happen to where I'm like, damn, they won't even fuck with nothing I got coming out from Dago no more based on the fact that they had so much resistance from the artists. I don't know what it is, homie, but it's just something about the San Diego niggas that's so aggressive, homie, when it's time to do this business to where that 
I don't know, homie. And I'm not saying everything because I don't want to shit on my Dago niggas. I'm not saying everything. That's why I sound like I'm rambling. My nigga, I done brought niggas to forefront situation. I done put niggas in front of niggas and then it didn't work with them. And then the next city they went on to, niggas went platinum. What I could go on time and time again where I done put niggas to the forefront. Use every opportunity I had, every plug I got. Nigga, if they fucking with it, they fucking with it. But what San Diego niggas got a misconception of is that this nigga's about the music and how good you rap. And it really ain't just about the music and how good you rap, my nigga. It's a whole bunch of other shit that go along with it, my nigga. And all they care about is numbers, my nigga. The labels don't give a fuck about numbers. They'll take you to the meeting. they tell you you dope. Rub you on your back. Pat you on your head. Whatever the fuck. We want to fuck with you. Then what they going to do at that point is they going to holler at their accountant, they little Jew dude, and they going to go through there and they going to look at your numbers and they going to come up with a number that they feel that they'll give you, a budget that they'll give you. And if them numbers ain't right, nigga, they don't give a fuck how dope you is. They're only going to pay you and give you money based upon the type of money that they think you can return. So San Diego artists is just now starting to get some numbers and shit, but for the last few years, niggas didn't really have a number. I'm gonna give niggas a bar right now. Here's the magic number. The magic number right now, and this was told for me directly from Ghazi at Empire. The magic number is 250,000 streams a week on all platforms. If you got 250,000 streams on all platforms, that equals up to about $50,000 a month, and they will give you half of that as a budget to get going. Niggas look at that as small, but that's enough to get going. I done brought every nigga from San Diego. I done opened a corridor for every nigga from San Diego. A few niggas reached out and fucked with it. A few don't. KT4 reached out to me all the time about this opportunity. I didn't talk to them about Owe. I didn't talk to them about Hardini. But see, the thing is, is you, you said what you said, but nigga ain't going to give me the opportunity to do my job in that position. They be like, oh, they don't want Slick to be in it. Oh, nigga, you gonna let an L.A. nigga get his 20% cut? Let me go to work. Let me go to no, work. No, I'm let saying, is that nigga. available? Is that available? Hell yeah, that's available. Okay, so you saying, okay. You I done already reached out about this. I done already tried to make this happen. These niggas at these labels are fuck with me based upon they know me and they have a you relationship got with me. They ain't gonna just give no young nigga that's fresh out the pen no $200,000 or $100,000 and say run with it because they think the same thing they thought about me when I came in the game where well, I never really got on. Nigga was so burnt out, they thought that if we give Mitch 500 bands, all he gonna do is go buy dope and money and gun, dope and guns and shit and, and boost the crime rate and shit. And so that's the reason why they always want somebody in between whoever the artist is. Somebody they can trust. Somebody that they know knows what to do with the money when they give it to them. So when I reach out to the homies, they be talking about, oh, Slick I always want to sign somebody. Well, really, I don't always want to sign nobody, but I know that the plugs I got, they're for me. They don't really know these people. But if I say these niggas is good and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do with them, then they'll let me get in. But they're not going to give the money directly to the artist. How about, okay, so what about niggas like me that, that sent to the management? And I'm trying to do the same thing. Like, basically, talk to the same people. And management is built around this, homie. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have relationships, my nigga. You got to build relationships, man. They got to like yeah, you. I'm they can't like you just because I turned you on to them. You got to get amongst them people and make them like you because they don't even like me that much. They don't even like me that much. I'm not from L.A. We in competition. We trying to get in the door in L.A. We trying to get in the interscope and priority. And it's niggas from L.A. that grew up with niggas that's in that office. They ain't going to let us in first. That's what I was saying we don't got in San Diego. We don't got the button pushers. We got a couple of niggas doing that shit right. But, like, I can't do for you what a WAC 100 can do for a nigga. A WAC 100 can get, get on your line, and you're going to be on tomorrow. Just because his platform and the people that he got and the people he can reach out to, he done made them millions of dollars. Don't you San know Diego that? nigga got to give me an opportunity. Give me an opportunity to make us some money. But as soon as I don't come to the door with $200,000 in the face or can't do this or do whatever the fuck they think, they don't understand, my nigga. It don't go like that. Niggas always go off what the story is on the internet. Don't oh, so-and-so you know? did it like this. So-and-so did it like that. But he didn't tell you what he did five years before that. So niggas don't understand the process, homie. It take a process. Do you know Wack 100? Huh? Do you know Wack 100? That's my nigga. And so doing business with Wack 100, like what you said is, is like, for example, they got to like me, right? Just because you like in life, if you turn me on to somebody and leave and we go do good business, like you sent me to a place to go get my car to go get my car painted. Oh, Slick sent me over here. They give me the discount and all this shit, and I keep on doing business with them. What's the what's the difference when you introduce them motherfuckers? And if they do good business, then what what's the difference? Now watch this. 
I'm glad you on here, and I want everybody to know I'm not answering directly to Wood. I'm glad Wood is asking these questions because he asking the same questions from everybody in San Diego be thinking because we don't understand the business, my nigga. Now, check this conversation I out. Oh, no, hold on. You don't understand this part. So the only reason Wack fuck with me, really the way he do, is because my big homeboy Reese and them built a relationship in the pen. So that relationship that I got with Wack is not from is not from rap. It's from No, I know, so, I know. I, I, so I, I'm here. I'm okay, here. so check it out. Now let me tell you what Wack told me though. So I reach out to Wack and I tell him straight like this on my mama, and you know Wack gonna get on and say what it is if he hear something that ain't the truth. I say, What's up, Wack? I've been going through shit with the Dago artists right now, and they all tapped into you, homie. I can make some shit happen for my city. Um, but I might want to do some collab shit with you, homie, to where that maybe if you vouch for what, what I got going on, they'll roll with it. And so what Wack basically told me, homie, because I took it as game. Wack basically didn't tell me, yeah. He basically told me, look, Slick, niggas, the game is a fake game, and niggas only fuck with niggas that's on. So the way I took it was, you ain't on. <laughs> you ain't on, my nigga. So get on, nigga, and do something that's monumental to where that niggas will fuck with you. He basically shot me down, but on everything I love, when he told me that, that was my motivation to even go that much harder because I know that when I get something that's right, you know, and then bring it to him, he going to be with it. But niggas got to have their business in order. Bro, niggas don't know what I go through. Niggas will vouch for that. I told Wack that. I said, I don't care where from. Bro, with this shit, let's make it happen. Because I know the young niggas don't listen. Uncle Mitch. Uncle Mitch, I'm the big home. Niggas, don't, niggas look past me when it comes to this shit. They done did it a million times. I done tried to put niggas in a situation, and niggas didn't think I knew what I was talking about. So what it is is, homie, everything that niggas think I should do, I've done this shit for years. I hate, this the one I really hate. When niggas start talking that. Mitch don't want nobody else to shine shit. Mitch don't want no... If Mitch didn't want nobody else to shine, then why would niggas... Why would I do all the shit y'all see me do with niggas and fuck with niggas and never sign them or nothing, my nigga? None of them niggas... It's Tiny Dude, uh, uh, Ice B, none of them niggas... I ne niggas never signed no paperwork. The shit that me and Elway got, they not locked into that. We don't have no deal. A deal is when you get some money, my nigga. They haven't given us no money for that situation. And what and what Elway and Adonis got going on with me, they can do this shit on their own anywhere. It started off as me being able to support and vouch their projects and shit, but it's fucked up because niggas gotta understand. They can't think about rap shit. They gotta, they gotta make sure, because now I gotta go back to the turf with this shit when they getting into it with little homies and shit like that. I'm, I'm there for them. I love them niggas. But shit, don't put me in the bullshit politics, nigga. I want to, I want to, nigga, I'm an old nigga. Nigga, I want to sit back and chill and get money and take care of kids and all that type of shit. Now, when that other shit come into it, y'all got to think about me now. Look at the situation I'm in now. So I, what I'm saying, homie, is I didn't try for years. I bring every nigga to the forefront. Let me tell you something else I always ran into when I tried to bring niggas to the forefront. I'll be like bringing the homies. No matter what label it is, you can ask anybody. If you ask the industry side, not the street homie side, the street homies say, oh, you don't talk about us enough. The industry side with all the labels I fuck with, they be like, Slick, when are you going to start caring about yourself? Why do you always yeah. talk about everybody else? That's what right. they say on the industry side. No, that's what they say in the streets, too. You feel me? You know, why you, why you so concerned about music? everybody else? I bend over backwards, homie, and if it don't work out, then it's like, fuck Slick. I'm like, nigga. But anyways, my nigga, I'm glad you tapped in on me. We cleared up a lot of shit. It ain't clear. We're going to have more conversation. But what you got to know is that the mentality, the mind state you think I'm on with this shit, my nigga, I've been doing this shit forever, homie, and I haven't rece received none of the none of the accolades, homie, from this shit. So, therefore, when I say I don't give a fuck, I'm not saying I don't give a fuck no more about the city getting on. I'm saying I don't give a fuck about me trying to bend over and break my neck to do shit for niggas that act like fuck me and don't support what I'm doing, my nigga. I'm done of being some niggas. I'm not nobody's hoe, my nigga. Niggas is mad about me not doing shit for them. What have you ever done for me? Whoever you is. Shit. Nah, I, right. yeah, I, get, I, get, I get it, right? I get it, right? And so then having those kind of conversations, that, that, right. brings, it, that brings it to a realization that makes it understood from a perspective. 
You know what I'm saying? It, may, it yeah, makes I'm, it understood. I'm, I'm a regular nigga, bro. I really, I really feel a way about niggas saying my name in records and shit, homie. Like, for real, though. Like, I, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not with none of that type shit. But then I got to be the bigger nigga and not say nothing. And, you know, because I know that uh, what we need to be doing, homie. I never said nothing back to it's hip, it's hip, homie. It's, I don't want to do it's, that. It's rap. It's hip hop. That's how 50 Cent got on. Yeah, that's that you know bullshit. That's, like, how niggas, that's how them niggas be dying. Saying, and so, shit, though, too, though, bro. At the, no, at the, yep, yep. So, no. I don't want to be a part of that, homie. I don't no, I'm just saying that's that's a that's hip, that's hip hop. We, right? real that's right. we real niggas. We real niggas. We real niggas. Niggas like know. where we from. Niggas go to jail for the shit these niggas get away with in hip hop. No, like me, I went to jail. You feel me? In prison. Niggas say some shit on the record. And you you from somewhere else to say some shit on the record, nigga. San Diego niggas say some shit on the record, get indicted, nigga. Okay, so now that's, my point. now that's my point. Shit. Now that's my point. Now why don't we the narrative of how some niggas get the rap in the city and then make that okay? And make it because when you Google San Diego, it's in a, it's like the safe one of the safest cities in the world. So all the gangbang rappers, you know what I mean? Yeah, we real niggas and we and that's the proven. You know, but at the end of the day, for a nigga that's from a different place that ain't from California, they not looking at San Diego like we official like that, right off the bat. That's that's just what it is. So we need to use. <coughs> your, your volume went off on me. Having that being, having that we've been in one of the richest cities in the whole world, how is everybody broke on their music? How is we not talking about having money? Why ain't niggas around here looking to park for niggas that's out there on, on different sides of the country making it look like that? So if we got a whole bunch of artists around here and we ain't fitting the narrative of what the rap niggas in their generation is doing, we in the city where we paying nigga 1800 for a one bedroom, my nigga. In Vegas for 1800 you might get a four bedroom type shit. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> At the end of the day, we so concerned about uh, shooting, rapping, and all that, but what happened to nigga? We live in a city that make money, and the beach is right here where we got all the bitches. Well, that's what it's going to take. What's wrong with that part? Well, look, hey, Wood, I got a gang of niggas that want to tap in, homie. I'm going to get at you. We started a conversation. It's probably one of the best conversations we ever had from, from my side of town and y'all side of town, my nigga. But just know, my perspective is this. Just know this for everybody. Niggas think they be saying shit. I be hearing all the shit niggas be talking. And niggas be like, oh, Slick didn't fuck with us because he want this. Nah, nigga, I didn't fuck with niggas, nigga, because they was be talking shit, nigga. And I heard it, nigga. And I, and I don't like that shit. That's why, nigga, the same way any... Now, now that we didn't got past that, Slick ain't no haters. Slick with the business. But it ain't my responsibility at this point. I'm, I, I, nigga, I should, be, I should be freed of the obligation of being the sole provider of the energy needed to make... San Diego pop. I'll give niggas a blueprint, nigga, but I've, I've smashed for this shit for 20 years already, homie. If niggas right. got something going on, I'm going to support it, but don't make me be the only nigga that can do something for Dago, bro. No, that, that's, that's, a, that's a point. I mean, if a nigga don't have this conversation where he can re have that release, then niggas will always think you're doing it for yourself. It's all, about me, it's all about slick. That's all, because you can mm -mm. still do that with your money. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's what you consider giving it Passing the torch. You now listen, I mean? last but not least. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna yeah. say last but not least, for every nigga that was like, well, he didn't say this, he didn't say that. Wait a minute, wait, wait. How do a nigga think that when I went on this show in politics, the biggest damn near platform in California to come to San Diego and do a specific show just for Dago, where everybody from the town that's busting moves get to get on. Niggas is work. Niggas say niggas just for slick. What well, any nigga to say? Well, you didn't say this or you didn't say that or why he didn't say your name, nigga, nigga. That that's what we talking about. I spoke for all of Dago, and something good is coming to all of Dago. And niggas is worried about what I just didn't say about this individual person or that individual person. That shit weak, homie. Much love to you, my nigga. We gonna chop it up some more. I gotta bring some other niggas on, G.